Don Long Silver Rails here. Tonight we're going to do an unboxing. This is a box of four locomotives. Um, I think they're untested. I bought them off eBay. Got them from a company up in Georgia named Trains. And we'll see if any of them run. Should be fun though. None of them have tenders is the only problem. I think there's at least two Marks locomotives and one American Flyer. I think they're all O gauge. And I opened it with my trusty case knife. I, it's either the, I don't know what they call it, the rancher or the cattleman or something. I love case pocket knives, they're very nice. Looks like it has a smoke unit in it. It looks like like it looks like it's in beautiful shape. I don't see anything wrong with it at first glance. What's often wrong is you're missing the steps on either side. They're there. The cabs are broken, or something's broken up here. Everything looks good. Now let's see what the next one is. Oh, this knife makes it even work of this. I don't have very many case knives, unfortunately. They're so expensive that I'd rather spend the money on trains. This is a $9.99 by Marks. And it looks like a repaint. It doesn't have the $9.99 numbers on it. It's a single reduction motor. It does have the front and rear trucks, which is important. I don't see anything wrong with it, really. It looks like it's a good one. Next. I don't know who the employees are that do the packing, but they do a great job. It's very unlikely these things will get damaged in shipping. Well, this is an American Flyer. Once again, it looks like a repaint. I'm guessing it might have been a 561, but that's just from memory. I could be wrong. But the wheels are in good shape. Often, these wheels are crazed on these pre-war locomotives. The pickups look good. It's missing the boiler front, so I'll have to look for a boiler front for it. But other than that, it's very promising looking. Well, this knife does the job. Have a really nice classic car museum in Tallahassee, Florida. And among other things, they actually sell case knives there. Well, this is a Marx 333. I don't have a Marx 333. It all seems to be complete. Once again, it looks like a repaint, but well done. Red marker jewels. 
So we're gonna test these locomotives now and see if they run. We'll start with the 333. This is without oil or anything. We're just gonna put it on the track and see what happens. This one already wants to run. You... How about that? It runs great. Look, it doesn't seem to be, I doubt it even needs lubrication. That is a beautiful locomotive. I'm so glad I got that. Now, let's try the American Flyer pre-war Pacific. That one, the Mark 333 would be a Hudson. They're about 316th scale or 164th. This has an E a, a unit here in the boiler. It's going to take some fiddling with it acts like it wants to run but i suspect the e unit's stuck sometimes if you shake it it'll shake it loose and make it move we'll see if that works and if not we'll move on to the next one. Oh yeah there you see what i mean by shaking it we've got that e unit to work now it's locked in reverse well the engine runs we just have to mess with the e unit probably a word of wd-40 or some Contact cleaner will be all it, it needs. And so finally, we have the 1666. Now, I'm gonna put some smoke fluid in this. I think it has a smoke unit. I'm gonna look down the stack first with my flashlight to make sure. Yeah, there's a smoke unit in there. But we need to put some smoke in. This one's called Grandpa's Pipe. Hopefully it will smoke. No guarantees. The light works. And it runs. Well, it runs good. It needs lubricating and I couldn't get it to smoke, so I'll have to mess with that. Maybe there's just a loose wire or something. I don't remember if I tested the Marks 999 or not, so we'll test it now and find out. Runs good. Needs a headlight bulb or maybe it's just loose. But the mechanism is great. So, all these locomotives and this was a good deal. I forget what I paid, but it was a bargain. I don't know how I managed to get it and beat everybody else. It was one of those buy it now deals. And I will definitely have fun with these locomotives. I have to say, I really like the look of this Mark 333 with the dull black finish somebody put on it. It looks so real to me with the valve gear and everything. It's a beautiful locomotive. Well, let's see if the 333 has a smoke in it, and I forgot to check for that. I'm not familiar with these. I do have a K-Line version of the 333, but it's not the same thing as this. Well, I don't see a smoke unit in there. But there is something in there. Maybe that, I don't know. I just don't know. Because I'm not familiar with these. I'll give it one more run, though, just for the fun of it. I'll drop some fluid in there just in case. I may be just dumping it on the track, though. We'll find out. This one's called Christmas Pine. 
The other one was Grandpa's pipe. So that concludes this unboxing. I have other unboxings coming, I hope. I did order a big locomotive in HO, which I'm looking forward to unboxing, and also some HO passenger cars. They were very good deals once again. So hopefully that'll be a future video. Meanwhile, I hope everybody's getting ready for Christmas. Remember it's Advent now, the time of preparation. <laughs>